Hola. I bought a pumpkin. Yay, I bought a pumpkin. No. <laughs> I bought a pumpkin and I'm going to, um, it's November 1st, but I, I, I have a hankering for some pumpkin seeds. Then I can make the puree or I can make, what I really want to make is some pumpkin stuffing and then puree the rest of it and then keep it in my freezer if I want. Pumpkin bread, cookies, pumpkin soup, what have you. But right now I'm going to do pumpkin seeds. Is this even recording? It is. I'm preheating the oven right now and this little pan here. I have uh, like a lentil medley bean. There's a lot of lentils and then I have about this much, about two cups of uh, medley of beans. So that's in there with some carrots and some onions. And I'm going to make some hamburger right now. And I'm going to stick it in there. It has a few tomatoes too. You guys want to see it? Let me just show you. It doesn't have the meat yet though. But yeah. Yum. So that's cooking. So let me get this pumpkin. Pumpkin! Some parchment paper. I guess you could do uh, aluminum foil, which will, you know, retain more heat. Be more crispy but I already got that out so pumpkin let's see if I can angle this better no all right sorry pumpkin I hope there's a lot of seeds in it because that's really what I want to do. Ugh. Or for Thanksgiving, you guys go to your stores because pumpkins are cheap right now. And you can make stuffing. Keep my hair. You can make stuffing, cut it in half. Use the other half for the stuffing mixture. Like bake it or, or cube it. I mean, of course, take the skin off. And then make whatever, there's some sausage, some, um, oh gosh, you can do all kinds of stuff. You just get creative with it. I would do like sausage, onions, um, maybe even some caramelized onions, add the pumpkin, the breading, the onions, I mean the, the eggs, um, cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah, you can do a lot. Or, or if you don't wanna do that, Hollow this out on top about the date, probably like the night before Thanksgiving. Hollow it out about this much of a hole. Get all the innards out, make those seeds, and then just stuff it with flowers. And it can be your um, centerpiece. So you can do a lot with it. Or puree it up. Like I'm going to bake it. I might do half like a stuffing. We'll see. I don't know. We shall see. I just hope there's a lot of seeds in it. Actually, I'm going to point the knife this way. All right, let me, let me do this. Let me do this and I'll be right back. All right, so let's see what we got to work with. So I got a bowl. Get this all out. We're gonna put this, you know, I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna keep it there. Some good pumpkin on there. So I'm gonna keep that. Ooh, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid it was gonna go in here, it was gonna be, you know how you buy one and then you open it and it's like, mold. Oh 
Yeah. I think I'm, I'm leaning more towards the um, pumpkin stuffing tonight to add with that. I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. Canola, don't eat that. I don't know if that's bad for you. Don't eat it. All right, so let me finish this. And then I'll be back. You know what? I'll keep it on for a minute. Okay, this is messy. I would always have my kids um, get newspaper. Do you even have newspaper anymore? I don't even see newspaper anymore. Or magazines or parchment paper. Time flies. Just flies. We're still waiting on um, a grandbaby. Well, I'm excited because November. She wanted her in October, but I'm like, nope. She's going to be my birthday month. I win. It's going to be in November. Or you can get another pumpkin, bake it, take the innards out, put heavy cream, some nutmeg, some butter, um, whatever seasonings you like in there, and then fill it back up in the pumpkin, or even like cut more, like about this much more off, and then pour it in there. You can serve your soup right in the pumpkin. How about that? All right, I think there's a couple more in there. I'm gonna get the stringy parts off. I'm gonna wash them really well, and I'm gonna dry them really well. And then we're gonna get them in the oven. And then I got to cut this in half, and then I need to, um... oh, I wonder if I can do that. That'd probably easier, hold on. I got this. It's probably not gonna work, but it's worth a shot. No, it's not gonna work. It's supposed to be heavy duty. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get lucky, but it's worth a shot. Um, I'm going to need to cut this in half. I'm gonna uh, clear out all the, which I call the little stringers, little noodles, stringy noodle looking things. And uh, I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. Half of it I'm gonna cook halfway, and then I'm gonna uh, take the, the, the outers out, are off, and then I'm gonna cube it up, put some onions, um, I'm gonna make some homemade uh, breadcrumbs because I don't have no breadcrumbs. And you can just use regular bread. You can just toast it or put it in the oven for a minute with some olive oil, crisp it up, put some egg and whatever flavors. And I'm gonna bake just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit with our soup tonight. Carb on carb, but it's a healthy carb. So, alrighty, see you in a minute. All right, guys, so I have it. I kind of cored it as best as I could. I got two of them, or the whole one, cut in half. On parchment paper, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Just a little. I think I have enough meat in this to make just a small thing of um, stuffing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because there's still a lot of meat on that piece. I still have my seeds. I gotta still clean that off. I'm still make cleaning the mess of all this. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven. I'm gonna roast it. I should do it face. No, that should be okay. It should be all right. Um, I might cover it with some tin foil, which I'm going to. It just will cook a little quicker. Just the top just to generate some heat in there. All right. Just a little coverage. Just to generate some heat up in there. Oh, okay. Oven, preheated, going in.
All right, so now I'm gonna clean my seeds. So I'll be back. All right, so out of that whole pumpkin, that's the seeds I got. So I'm gonna lay them down on a towel and I wanna dry them as much as I can. So this is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna fold this over and get as much liquid out as possible. So I have them in here and I'm just gonna let them sit in here for a little bit. So I wanna get as much water out of that as possible. And now I'm gonna start on my stuffing. So I'll be right back. All right, so just from the top of the pumpkin, I got a lot of the meat out. So I'm gonna put that in here. So there's a lot, there's about two cups of meat in there. All right, so let me get all my fixings out right back some really sad looking scallions I'm gonna cut up this much can't have freaking stuffing it's not a fruit stuffing this can be a savory stuffing I need freaking onion I'm using them it's happening right now it's happening <laughs> oh god I look <laughs> can't... hi all right so I cut the onions in half each one in half so it made a little bit more onion so we're gonna put onion in there. Okay, two eggs. A little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put some heavy cream. Well, this is half and half. I use that as well. It works the same. All right, so let me clean my mess up and be back. Watch the toaster. Yeah. No. You don't want this. All right, a little bit of cheese, because I'm going to put some cheese on top, too. Also, a memento. If you need breadcrumbs, stick some toast, or some bread in the toaster, make some toast. Just don't burn it. I'm checking on mine. Perfect. So I'm doing about four slices. Hot out of the toaster. Just cut it. However thick you like it. I'm just doing it like that. Making little cubes. Enjoying it. So now I'm going to add some seasonings. All right, so I'm going to add some cinnamon. I just add however much I think I'm going to like turmeric. I'm just adding what I have in there. Oh, I have some garlic. Oh, mm, the cinnamon. Some Himalayan, Himalayan sea salt, sea salt in there. Do a little bit more cinnamon. Oh, maybe that will be. Still gonna taste good. You can't go wrong with cinnamon. And then I'm gonna put some garlic powder. So be back. Garlic powder. Bada bing, bada bing. God, this is how I lost my freaking wedding rings. But I know I'm, this is that's not my wedding ring. It matches this. I got every time I go to SeaWorld, they gotta buy me a. Uh, what, do you, what do you call those? The, sea, the seashells? And, and it has pearls. Seashell, right? Oh my god, I'm tired. Anyways, I get one every time I go. So, let me show you. Clean it off. And this is the one he got me. It's not replacing my wedding rings, though. Nah. Alright, so I'm going to mix this up. I wish I had some sausage. I'll put some sausage in here. However, I do have bacon. Do I want to do that? No, it's frozen anyways. Alrighty. I'm 
almost picked up my towel with all the pumpkin seeds. Would not have been good. All right, so let me get a pan. Be back. So this is what it looks like. Put a little bit of cheese on top. Put some tin foil over it, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. That's what's happening. And you can always like, if you wanted to boil it to cook quicker, you can. I'm just gonna put this on tight, stick it in the oven. And then I gotta get some of the hamburger and mushroom. And I ran out of onion, so I'm gonna replace it with mushroom to get in my lentil soup. I'm going in. Now I just wait for all that to cook, clean my mess up, and then I will be back. Another little tip too, go to your um, meat department and get like quarter amounts of meat. I don't know if you have a big old family, that's not gonna work, but this is a pretty big chunk. I can make two good patties out of this, and this was like three bucks. So that's a little tip. Say you just want to get some wings, go get 10 instead of buying a big old bag. You know, five and five would be a good meal. It's like six bucks, it's pretty cheap. So yeah, you know, just, just trying to help a brother and sister out. I always rinse my mushrooms, so mushrooms going in. With the hamburger, extra mushrooms. And I'm gonna be able to freeze like 75% of this meal or 75% of the, I want to say meal, um, of the whole, the whole entire thing I'm cooking. So we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to have this for a few meals. Just pull it out of the freezer, put it, um, you put it in a freezer bag, put it in a bowl with some hot water, or just stick it straight in the pan, or the, not the pan, yeah, pan, and um, as I always say, sugu pot. And then, you know, on low, lid on it and just let it so that's always good um okay let me bring it closer a little bit a little bit closer so that's what's happening right now Ooh, yeah. So that's what's happening. I need to get some um, iced coffee in my life right now. So, un momento. And I make my iced coffee. I just put some ice in the glass. I make a very small, like an espresso sized coffee. So I get all the coffee flavor. I add the creamer and then some water, cold water, to cool it down so it doesn't melt on my ice, which is still gonna melt it, but. And then that's like perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a thing that cleans my glass straw. I just always like to make sure. <laughs> Where is that? Just use it the other day. Anyways, I was on the freeway, and if you all know me, I don't like driving freeways. What could have been a full blown panic attack? It kind of went, what? Like, yes, I'm here, hello. But then I reeled it on back in. But I had to pull over on the side of the freaking freeway. My hazard's on to compose myself because it was that big of a boom. I didn't get a grip. I have a lot happening. I got babies coming. Big guy's health. We were gonna do a big purchase, which we're not gonna do. Um, just doing my best, you know, 
just doing my best. And when I have a lot of stress like that, anxiety just likes to pow. And then what do I do? I eat. <laughs> Y'all know I struggle with my weight. Um, 90% of the time I try to eat portion control. Lately, the last three weeks, no, two weeks. I've done better than I've done bad, but yeah. I'm usually really good about my carb intake. Tastes like soap. But anyways, yeah, that was bad. Enough for me to pull over on the side of the freeway, which is, I don't recommend. Because I couldn't make it to the off ramp, <laughs> like just a little bit more. I was trying to like be kind to my thoughts. Oh yeah, no, this is nothing. You got it, you got it. Pow! No, you don't. I had to pull off. In itself was scary because Traffic was going like 100 miles an hour, and I'm like, okay, now I'm just fully stuck here, which is a whole different anxiety issue. Telling myself I'm never getting on a freeway again. But I will, because I'm not a quitter. Oh, I better put my ring on before I throw this away. Um, I'll never quit. I'll keep doing it, even if I got to pull over every single time, because that's just me. Yeah. I actually got over the fear of driving on a freeway. Got over it. Totally fine. Go down. I can still go everywhere. Like, give me. I can get. As long as there's a route to go non freeway, shoot. I can drive to Maine. It's not the driving, it's the freeway and heights. Like, if I was on a plane, which I've never flown, but I I would be fine if it was at night and the windows wasn't open and I and I couldn't see out. There's a pattern of control here. Yeah, are you feeling it? Yeah, that was not a. I even I almost went to tears. Actually, none fell out my eye holes, but they 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 weld up with water yeah with terrors let me add my hamburger and my ripe mushrooms i'm gonna add the oil from the hamburger for more flavor it wasn't a lot It was the lean, the leaner meat. Oh, you guys can't even see. Dang. Anyways, so now this just needs to simmer. Like I know my mind's been on things because I'll forget things. Not like senility or like, like my rings and I cooked bacon the other day and I came back in the kitchen and the freaking thing was on. The stove was on. I need to do some yoga. I need to do yoga. Seriously. And we buy a freaking huge thing of candy for Halloween. That one. Freaking trick or treater. Nope. Not one. Not a lion. Not a bear. Not a witch. Not a freaking one. And I want to eat it. Bad. 
but I don't. I haven't had one today. I didn't eat one yesterday, and it was Halloween. I'm like, oh. Am I even talking to myself here? Is it even recording? That was a big shit show. My glasses got all wet. So, yeah, that's been my life. I always stress more when my kids, like, go into labor. I, I swear it takes, like, a year off my life. Love the blessing that comes with birth. It's just the stress it puts on them. Why do I look like a linebacker right now? That's why I was sitting. <laughs> but yeah, no. That freeway. I'm going to, just because I did that, just because, I'm going back on. Watch me. Ever doing it. Because when you run from it, it gets bigger and it's harder to get back on that horse. <sighs> Exposure. The fact I did it, I got on that freeway when I didn't want to, but I did it because I was like, no big deal, because it's not. <sighs> And as soon as I saw the one mile mark, that's when it got me. I was like, oh my God, one mile. There's no pull offs. What if this gets bad? And I'm telling myself, this is nothing. You got this. This is just the way you think. It's just negative thinking. Okay, I can breathe. Oh, I feel a little lightheaded. Oh my God, I'm on the freeway. I'm behind a vehicle. You know, Will, I'm behind the wheel of a vehicle. What if I pass out? Oh my God. So you let your whole. side effects from the anxiety like your rapid heartbeat and feeling faint and nauseated and fearful take over but it didn't get I didn't go into a full it just like it hit me and then I reeled it right back like oh oh, oh no but then it kind of did because I had to pull over <laughs> yeah but I did it so instead of being and I did I pulled off and I was like not so much when I had pulled off, I was trying to compose myself. It's when I got back on and I, and I, it was a trash truck coming at me, like a silverback monkey. It was like, and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I put my head all the way out the window to make sure I don't die or kill someone else. And then I got back on really quick and the exit was just like right there. With my hazards on, like, no, my hazards are on, people. Something's wrong. Why am I getting loud? I gotta go do my nails. Like, I took them off because I'm gonna do something really cute. Well, I'm not. My daughter's gonna do it. Yeah. So, anyways, long story short, I got to the exit. It was a red light. Felt totally like I was happy, of course, because I was off, but I was very upset with myself. And my eyes were just oh, never going up the freaking freeway again. Oh. Then I looked it up. Like, why? Because I'm type one who needs answers. And I looked it up, and it's all like afraid of heights and stuff like afraid of freeways and stuff like that. It's all stems from agoraphobia. It's going to itch my ear. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys, but oh well. I hear it. So, yeah. So that was a shit show. And then, of course, I'm like, ooh, well, you know, I want to eat now. But I didn't. I didn't have no lunch. Because I want that stuffy. I'm going to do a cup. One cup full. And then I want my soup, which is carby. But it's a healthy carb. Um, I ain't eating no candy. Don't worry. Oh, you know what happened? I did $300 worth of uh, shopping. Well, now you guys know what I, I do. <laughs> I do. I shop for people. Um, and there's a lot of those shopper apps. You guys just don't know which one. <laughs> Anyways. 
I went to an apartment building and it was like, like a lot of, like, it was a lot, $300 worth of food. Um, it ended up being on the second floor and then they had like 500 units. Well, if you know anything about those driver apps, I almost said it, the driver apps, um, if for some reason you can't find the location or if they can't reach the people to come down and, you know, and navigate to where they're at, um, you get the groceries. So I ended up getting all of those groceries. There was alcohol and state law. You have to bring that back. I don't drink anyways. Don't want it. So I took the alcohol back and they don't take the groceries back because of the COVID, I guess. Um, so I got to keep all those groceries. And it was freaking a lot. Let me tell you. Two bacons. Two, two pork chops. Two packets of pork chops. Um, two things of granola bars. Two things of... Um, like insurers. Um, a whole pack of organic chicken. That was, it's a pre, it was already a pre-cooked one by Foster Farms. Marinades. Onions. No, not onions. Oh gosh, what was the, no, it wasn't onions because I don't have any clearly. Um, holy crap, I got so much stuff. Um, oh. Stouffer's pizza, you know, the kind that are in the, um, the loaf, the half a loaf, five of those. So if you take them out, um, 10 pizzas, um, a package of sausage breakfast sandwiches, um, two ice creams, two, um, Yeah, two ice creams, a thing of chocolate syrup, milk, butter. There was just so much. I can go on and on and on. I got all that for free. And that's the second time that's ever happened the whole time I've ever did it. What else was in there? Because there was a lot. Um... I said that already. Anyways, this is going to shut off. I love you guys. Two noodles. I got all that grocery, so I was really excited. Oh, Perrier, too. That was in there. Huge case of Perrier. Um, all right, it's going to shut off. I love you guys. Two little noodles. Asta, asta. Thank you for being an ear. I feel better. All right, love you. Mwah, mwah. Bye.